My name is Dreema Mackwaters, and I'm doing my persuasive speech on recycling. According to the Alabama Environmental Council's article, the United States of America is the number one trash producing country in the world at 1,609 pounds per year per person. In 2011, the Alabama Department of Environmental Management determined that Alabama spent $25 million to throw away over $193 million worth of recyclable material. That is just crazy. All of that money could be going towards something more important. Come on America, it's time that we wake up, stop making excuses, start caring, and start recycling. I'm going to tell you about how important recycling is and how easy it can be done. Frank Ackerman describes it in the Encyclopedia of Earth, recycling is the process of turning used process, uh, products into raw materials that can be used to make new products. Ackerman also wrote that the purpose is to conserve natural resources and reduce pollution. The history of recycling dates back through the years. As the amount of people increased, so did the amount of garbage. By 1965, the U.S. government recognized the growing problem in the way garbage was being handled. The garbage rotting in landfills and being incinerated emitted greenhouse gases that pollute our atmosphere and only contributes to global climate change. With these environmental changes and the garbage continuing to pile up by the day, steps needed to be taken to try to fix these problems. In 1970, the first Earth Day was celebrated, introducing recycling to the public. The Encyclopedia of Small Business tells us how, in 1965, the first federal law of solid waste, the Solid Waste Disposal Act, passed Congress. Over the years, more laws have been passed to correct the unnecessary disposal of waste. In 1976, recycling of municipal solid waste was made a national policy. Why should we want to recycle? Well, we have to change our ways of thinking and living before it is too late. With an average person generating over 4 pounds of waste a day, adding to a total of 1.5 ton a year, our environment doesn't stand a chance. Out of sight and out of mind. Since we don't see it, we don't think about it. But this decomposing garbage in all these landfills is releasing methane. One fourth of all methane emission in the U.S. comes from landfills. This methane is a global warming pollutant and it's 22 times more potent than carbon dioxide. Incinerators burning garbage pollutes the air just as much. If we rely on oxygen to breathe, why would we not want to make an effort to clean the air instead of continuing to poison it? To me, recycling is the smartest option and the only option we have right now that makes sense. The United States Environmental Protection Agency wrote about all the benefits of recycling in their article, Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. Recycling reduces the amount of waste sent to landfills and incinerators. It conserves natural resources such as timber, water, and minerals. Prevents pollution and saves energy by reducing the need to collect raw material. It reduces greenhouse gas emissions that contribute to global climate change. And it helps sustain the environment for future generations. Also creating jobs in recycling and manufacturing industries in the U.S. The United States Environmental Protection Agency wrote about several methods for collecting recyclables, including curbside collection, drop-off centers, and deposits or refund programs. Recyclables are sent to a recovery facility to be sorted, cleaned, and processed into materials that can be used in manufacturing. It takes little effort. Instead of throwing your trash in a can that goes to the landfill, how about trying to throw it in a can that goes to a recycling facility? 
more and more products are being manufactured with recyclable contents. A lot of the items you have in your own home have recyclable content in them. Newspapers, paper towels, glass coat bottles, and even laundry detergent bottles all have these materials. With all of the positive benefits of recycling, why would you not want to be involved? Things that we can do to help the environment. The National Resource Defense Council stated on their website that paper, plastic, glass, and cans are not the only items that should be diverted from the incinerators and landfills. Reduce the environmental impact of organic waste by composting food scraps and by leaving short grass clippings on lawns to decompose. Donate old clothing to homeless shelters and other community organizations. Take advantage of manufacturer take-back programs for your unwanted electronics. In the Journal of Industrial Ecology, Reed Lifeset wrote, Over the past two decades, governments around the world have been experimenting with a new strategy for managing waste. This is known as the Extended Producer's Responsibility. By making producers responsible for their products when they become waste, policymakers seek to significantly increase recycling and re recyclability of computer packaging, automobiles, and household hazardous waste such as batteries, used motor oil, leftover paint, and save money at the same time. The consequences if we don't recycle. I believe if we don't get this waste problem under control and moving in reverse, the future of this planet doesn't have much hope. People are so busy that they don't realize the irresponsible choices being made by everyone around them every day. Our inability to act fast and now will affect the generations to come. Our children and our children's children will be the ones living with the consequences of our actions. Our planet only has limited amounts of natural resources and eventually these resources will run out. The excess garbage will increase pollution to the soil, water, and air, making the earth near impossible to inhabit. We could change this future and extend the life of this planet because without it, there would be no us. So let's start recycling now. Thank you.